lost it. Ah, what are you doing? You, jeez, what's going on? I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. You scared the hell out of me. Yes, I'm awfully sorry. You see, there's a girl in there, and, and, and the bloke's not going to run out <laughs> Just explain that this smiles about our little problem. I'm with the extra guest, Mr. Johnson's friend, in six, last night. <laughs> what's that on your hand, Basil? But, oh, that's uh, some stuff in the cupboard, dear. Something I, I knocked over. But... <laughs> I'm going to get the other girl just to prove it to you, but I'll tell Miss Miles to, to leave. Out. Out. Right. Out. 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 Um, excuse me. I do apologise, but I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to... Bother you. I thought I'd better apologise for my husband's behaviour. No, but, please, no. really, Mrs. Forty. He's going through rather a disturbed time at the moment. <laughs> no, please, look, I, I don't quite understand. He does seem a bit worked up about well, something, but I'm sure there's some quite innocent yes. explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Basil? Just checking the doors. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Uh, I was in the bathroom. Yes, she was, dear. So I just popped in to have a, have a look at these hinges, you know, the ones we've been... Do <laughs> you really imagine, even in your wildest dreams, that a girl like this could possibly be interested in an ageing, brilliantine, stick insect like you? <laughs> a girl like who, dear? This one, Basil, the one you've been chasing ever since she arrived. Oh, dear woman, have you got out of your mind? What are you doing in there? Look, you know the trouble we've been having with these hinges? Like what I said, all right, if you really want to know, I came to apologise for the incident just now when I thought she was the girl in Johnson's room. You remember when I put my hand on the... 